Hello, my name is Thorbe, and welcome to Diablo 3 Season 22. As you can see, I'm not a very high Paragon level, but uh, that's okay. Oh, I almost died already. So, I'm just going to rip through this Greater Rift 85. This is pretty low uh, compared to some that I've seen. But it's this one and 90. Probably should have put it on Greater Rift 90. I'm comfortable farming 90. It's the highest I have ever been. I've not not been to very high of a Greater Rift. I go. I play this game in stages. I, I treat this game like I do World of Warcraft. Same company, Blizzard. I uh, play for a little while, lose interest, and don't play for months. I missed numerous seasons, but for some reason, I decided to come back to this season. And I'm glad I did. I'm playing a barbarian, and I'm doing all kinds of slap your mama attacks. And that's the only thing keeping me alive so far. Got the Nemesis Braces equipped to help me hurry up and get the... Oh, hello there. Yeah, <laughs> hurry up and help me get the purple orbs I need. I'm pretty sure the purple orbs have a particular name, but right now I'm going to call them the purple orbs. And that's that. So, yeah, just breezing through. This will take just a few minutes. Not very long at all. So the one thing I hate about Diablo, I'm going to back up. Now, I absolutely love Diablo. I've been playing Diablo since the original Diablo back in the day. And then they came out with Hellfire, and Diablo 2, Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, then finally Diablo 3, then Reaper of Souls. Add a Necromancer pack. You, you get it. You get it. And I'm sure... I feel the same way as other players feel that um, this game is fun, but while it's fun, it's also very incomplete. And I come to find out they did not include a lot of stuff that they had initially planned on including. But here's the good news. It's coming out in Diablo 4, which should be released later on this year, and I will be one of the first million, thousand, hundreds of million, billion people whoever to get to get a copy and spend hours upon hours grinding through whatever they throw at us. The mother of all creation is coming into play. It's gonna be interesting to see what kind of storyline that's gonna play out. Come on. Oh Jesus, come on. I hate when they're really, they're just out of reach. Yeah, so it's a little longer than I thought, but there we go. This should wind it up right up in here. Almost. Down to the wire and get to my greater rift boss. I wonder who's going to be up here today. A shield. I love getting the shield and going against the boss. That's an automatic win. Close for this season, I have my Shadow Throne coming up, and he is dominating everything. Oh, this guy. Falling Warlock. Good night. And that is all she wrote. Just regular items, no primals this time. They only have 80 something gems. Very much not one of the top tier barbarians by any means, and that's okay. I could care less. I've got a life outside of games, and I'm proud of it. See if there are any ancients for me to pawn off. No, 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 no. There's an ancient, but it sucks. Another ancient that sucks. Okay.
looking at my setup, my paragon levels are as follows. I keep movement speed maxed out because I don't like a slow character. And then I put the rest into strength. Vitality is kind of useless. Um, fighting at the higher, greater rifts, they, they just, the monsters will rip right through life points. And of course, I'm over 800, so everything else is maxed out. But that that's what I have. That's what I'm concentrating on right now with my current build is speed and strength. I don't need maximum fury, and I don't need vitality. My skills, I'm using Frenzy, Whirlwind Maniac. I'll get to that in just a moment. Whirlwind Hurricane to suck a monster in close. A wrenching Smash with my Ground Stomp to bring monsters in close so I can just sit there and attack and heal at the same time. Martyr's Rage with Battle Rage to increase my damage and critical hit chance. Furious Charge because why not? I get to places just a little bit quicker. I've got three charges of that. War Cry Impunity to aid my resistance. Berserker Rage 25% additional damage while near Max Fury. I, I have Maximum Fury almost all the time. And I'll show you that in just a moment. I use Toughest Nails for my armor, Superstition for the non-physical, and then Rampage for my 25 kills, which increases my strength. Frenzy has every rune, so it doesn't really matter which one to choose there. I have two Primals equipped. I have the Executioner, and I have Ice Climbers. That's good for not getting frozen. The set, I use the current set for the season, which is... Horde of the 90 Savages. I'm working on getting Primals. I've got all Ancients except for my Helm. I don't have the Boots equipped. I've got Flavor of Time as my Amulet because I like Extended Pylon Duration. And the Nemesis because I like finishing Rifts as fast as possible. And spawning more, more rare and elite bosses. Rings, I have the Bastions of Will just because it helps me with my damage. That's that. My cube, Bastion is revered. Need more Frenzy. Frenzy stacks up to 10 times. It's an additional time per stack. Each additional hit will chain to any enemies within 15 yards. And the damage is split between all the affected enemies. That helps with my healing as well as damaging. I use this. Aquila, Aquila, Curas, however the hell you say it. While above 90% primary resource, all damage taken is reduced by 50%. So I don't use Fury, that's why. Ring of Royal Grandeur. I don't have my boots equipped for my set. I need this. And then Oath Keeper. Because the attack speed and the, the higher damage for Frenzy. If I can find more Primals, I will go with the Legacy of Dreams gem. Anyway, hey, thanks for tuning in. This is my little barbarian. Not very much here. But I am proud of that little guy right there. Look at my hand. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'll see you in the next video.